Hello, my name is Andrew Hawkins, I'm Sales Director at EduServe. We recently conducted a survey in the civil service to understand how organisations were finding cloud deployments, implementing cloud and their general understanding. And today I'd like to share with you some of the findings from that survey. Implementing cloud computing is a core part of the government's strategy. First and foremost, we've had initiatives like Cloud First, which is a mandate for government organisations to use cloud as their first port of call for IT solutions with the drive that that can save significant amounts of money for government. Secondly, cloud enables organisations to uh, deploy more nimble and agile methods of service deployment to citizens. So organisations can get services to us as individuals in a much more simple online fashion. Again, saving more money but creating better services. There is a question as to how well cloud is understood in government and in government departments. We found for our survey that IT departments typically understand cloud very well, but when you get out into the broader civil service and other groups and business owners in those departments and agencies, typically it is misunderstood. The reality today is we have to position cloud as a business service, not as an IT, as a group of technologies, it is a business service. And when you're going out to transform your business or implement cloud solutions, it's important to in engage all parts of the organisation, business owners, procurement and the IT people. It is an end-to-end, top-to-bottom engagement to make sure you get the full benefit of implementing those types of offering. In planning to move to cloud, um, any organisation can make the assumption that it's pretty straightforward. Items like Cloud Store, um, you can go there, find services, buy them very straightforward fashion. But the reality is often you're buying pretty complex solutions, business solutions rather than just ICT, and often you will need to glue together a combination of offerings to get one actually the solution you need. That needs planning, it needs understanding, it needs cross-function buy-in, um, you know, procurement, business people, IT people, financial people potentially, and end users of your organisation. So you can't skimp on that. So don't underestimate the planning phase needed. And also fundamentally understand what you can do and can't do. You have to be clear where your skills are and where you may need to get third party skills in. And where we've seen successful procurements, typically third parties have been brought in to augment the skill set of the organisation making the purchase. One of the things we found is it's important for government departments and organisations is to involve procurement early when making a purchase through something like Cloud Store. The G Cloud team put in place Cloud Store, a marketplace for cloud services, which creates the perception that buying cloud is straightforward, perhaps even trivial in some instances, but the reality is often you're buying complex solutions. Procurement needs to be involved early so that they can understand the route to buying, so that they can route, understand how they will compare vendors, and perhaps even okay the whole um, purchase and uh, procurement route with Cabinet Office. So early involvement typically avoids later issues in the procurement cycle. One of the constant questions around cloud is security. Any cloud discussion ends up with discussion around security levels, security classifications. Historically, governments always classify data and information at the highest levels, um, removes perceived risk, but ultimately means that government spends far too much money on buying solutions that are gold-plated things that don't need it. So in purchasing cloud, the advice really is invest the time up front to understand your risk profile, understand how your data should be classified and then buy the right grade solution, the right security level solution for the data you have. You'll typically find that you'll save money but also your deployments will be more straightforward. Our report, Delivering Cloud First, is available from our website and indeed if you'd like further information about cloud, EduServe or our services, please do get in touch.